Hey gang, it's Maria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com and I'm joined with Thomas Magnussen who is the head of uh, goaltending for the Swedish Hockey Federation, goaltending development. And um, he did a great presentation yesterday, I really enjoyed talking about uh, goaltending development over historically in Sweden and showed lots of pictures from the World Championships this year, which Sweden won the gold medal. Congratulations. Thank showed you. a lot of pictures of them scoring on Canadians <laughs> and like smashing the Canadians and he had a big smile on his face. But um, you talked a bit about Henrik Lundqvist and what really sets him apart and what is sometimes a missing ingredient in other goalies that are maybe equally skilled or even more skilled but they're missing this ingredient. What was it? Oh, it's uh, definitely the compete level that he shows and I think it's outstanding his compete level uh, on a world basis but especially in our country because we, we have huge number of technically very very skilled goalies uh, but not enough with the compete level that he shows. He's, he's an outstanding goalie in that category. He's not the best technically, but he's, uh, he has outstanding will to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's neat because even in Canada, a lot of our top players don't go to the World Championships because, mm -hmm. like, well, I just played a whole NHL season yeah. and I, I'm, uh, you know, sore, a little battered. I'd like to take that time off to recover. You know, he's in the same boat, but he goes and plays for Sweden. Yeah. That, that we had had that problem too over the years with the players uh, saying no to, to world championships. But this year, almost all of the best players showed up, and so did Hen Henrik. And I think that that shows that this is changing, mm -hmm. and and uh, him coming to the team really made the, made the difference. Even that presence in the locker room, right? To, yeah. to say, man, this guy, this guy could be taking a couple weeks holiday, but he's chosen to be here and to sacrifice to try to win. Yes, and the way he prepared for games, the way he showed a will to win, and in the, in the semifinals, he was severely injured and uh, was really doubtful up until game time if he was going to start the final game. And then he went to overtime and and then <laughs> shoot out, and uh, he he, uh, he really showed character. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to? Can you say anything about the hip project that you're working on? I find that really interesting. And the thing I love about it is, you know, I think in in Canada and North America we all kind of scratch our heads and say, "Geez, I wonder what the impact of." of these, you know, being a goaltender is going to be on the hips and some of the new positions. You guys are actually trying to do something about it proactively. Can you tell me about that? Yes, uh, and it actually started two years ago when we met. Mm -hmm. And during that year I had heard so much about things that were connected to, to the hips. And from that time on, gradually, the, the, uh, the problem has actually grown. And we started to look into it uh, almost two years ago, and it's a process ongoing. And uh, we've come so far that now that we have a research team put together mm -hmm. uh, in Sweden and probably going to take some help from, you know, from our neighbors in mm -hmm. Norway and Denmark as well. And uh, what we're going to do is to uh, try to pinpoint what is the problem, mm -hmm. uh, what, what kind of problems around the hips are there really. Mm -hmm. So we have a baseline study of all our goalies and on, from our top level to our junior level and they're going to... Uh, be included in the project where they're going to answer uh, about the situation mm -hmm. during a f full season. So uh, screened beginning and during and after the season and being able to answer uh, on a weekly or, or uh, bi-weekly mm -hmm. basis uh, how they feel in the hips. Right. So it's, it's, uh, all, it's all about uh, pain mm -hmm. and also diagnosed uh, problem with the hips. Yeah, so then you'll get a sense of how pervasive it is in that population, mm -hmm. and then that would set you up to do some intervention studies yes. and see how if you can lessen the impact. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait to see that stuff. Uh, Tomas, always great to see you. Thanks so much for chatting with us today. My pleasure. Cheers.